it's been seven amazing years and it's it's so I, I can't even put into words how special this weekend is for me. Everybody thank you at USA Gymnastics. This really is a dream come true. Eight years ago when I had a pretty special night in Beijing, I never thought in a million years I'd be standing here today, eight years later, um, looking into an arena, seeing my name and my silhouette everywhere in a sea of pink. I just wanted to thank also GK. Um, being able to wear GK since I was probably eight years old um, and to continue your, my partnership with you has been so extremely special. Something I never really shared, the reasoning behind why I wanted to have all the girls in matching leotards. Some of my most amazing memories have been with USA Gymnastics and competing for the national team. And one of my favorite memories is just standing with my five Olympic teammates as we were all in matching leotards. And we knew we were about to embark on the most memorable experience of our lives. Nothing had happened except we were finally Olympians. We didn't have a medal to our name, but we all stood there in matching leotards. And I just remember that moment, and I wanted to give that moment to all of these girls year after year. While the 2008 Olympics were such a highlight of my life, one of my most special memories um, was in 2012 when I failed to make my second Olympic team. And I think for so many years, people were always scared to ask me about that moment because who wants to talk about a failure? Um, but for me, I feel like I learned so much about life and myself in that moment. Um, when I fell on my face in front of 20,000 people, the support that I received from those 20,000 people standing on their feet was something that I could have never written. It was something that I could have never imagined my career ending that way. And when I went on to my last and final routine of my entire career, the, the beam, for some reason that was kind of my favorite routine of my entire career because I walked onto that podium knowing that it was all over. And I just looked around and I took it all in and I have never enjoyed a routine like I did in that moment. That's kind of what I shared with the girls tonight, was I hope you go out there and have four of those beam routines that I had in 2012 to take this moment all in because it's all about you tonight. The advice that I would give to young girls is um, to just set goals for yourself and you know, not just a long-term goal. I know my long-term goal was always to go to the Olympic Games, but you